person who practices spirituality or becomes a spiritual person, obviously spirituality does not mean following certain rituals, prayers, etc. It means living life as a soul acting through the body. Now the first thing will be that one will think of eternity. Not only think of this particular life, this particular birth and plan for permanent well-being of the self. Otherwise, if a, a body a conscious person is there or a person who does not care about or know about the soul and spirituality, he will be short-sighted, he will think of temporary gains, he will think of temporary pleasures, temporary happiness, everything temporary and transient because that person will only plan up to the end of this body. While a spiritual person will plan for life and beyond. Secondly, as souls, all human beings become like brothers. Because if you are a body conscious, then you are bound to differentiate from others on various counts. You can think in terms of language, country, religion, rich, poor, educated, uneducated, and so on. But as souls, all souls are like brother souls, and the concept fatherhood of God, brotherhood of man, or one God, one world family, can be practically applied by a spiritual person because he will think soul in everyone, soul in himself, and as brother souls, he will look at common godfather of all souls. So there will be natural love and affection. When there is the feeling of brotherhood, one doesn't like to cheat or do wrong to one's brother. And when we have a feeling of oneness, that we are all belonging to a one common family, then many differences and distinctions which lead to hatred, etc., those will disappear. Also, a person knowing that values give one in return happiness, peace, uh, comfort, etc., so one will care more for the values of life. One will not be just a human being, one will be a valuable human being. Today we find that the human beings are growing by population, but the humanism or what we call insaniyat, that is becoming very scarce. So many things it will lead to. <coughs> a body conscious person will only be having cognizance of the body the physical and the material. He will see only what the physical eyes can see. So in short, he will think of his pleasures and sorrows in terms of physical objects, human beings and human senses. He can experience happiness or sorrow through senses of the body only because he knows only about the body. But a spiritual person knows that these bodily senses are only functioning as per the uh, dictates or guidance of the mind. So a spiritual person can go beyond the body and enjoy super sensual happiness also, which does not involve any senses or any material thing. That will lead to a very good proposition that one will not run after money, riches, status, possessions, uh, contacts with other influential people, etc. for one's happiness and well-being. One can be self-sufficient and can generate happiness and joy from within by controlling the mind and experiences, experiencing uh, the feelings of happiness, contentment, etc on the basis of one's good actions.